Peter Quill, why in the world did you give up your celestial powers? Just sit down and I'll tell you why this was such a mistake. In Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, we learn that our seemingly simple Peter Quill is actually the son of a celestial ego. Not only that, but he also finds that he's got access to all of Ego's cool celestial abilities. That power may have started with a sweet father-son game of catch, but it got a lot crazier from there. Now, Ego mostly just uses his for looking like 1980s celebrities and total galactic conquest, but Peter had more imagination. His final fight with his father featured the most hilarious use of infinite power until Deadpool used time travel to cancel X-Men Origins. I mean, Peter Quill used his near-limitless abilities to turn into freaking Pac-Man. For half a second, the entire fight looked like a better version of that Adam Sandler Pixels movie. Then, as quickly as he had gained that power, he lost it. The Guardians took out Ego's planet, and the power was gone forever. This was such a waste of what could have been years of potential entertainment. Just think about what he could have done if he really tried. He could have used his powers to not only fix the Milano, but to basically turn it into a cosmic version of the car from Knight Rider, complete with his very own replica of the bar from Cheers. He could have even summoned an army of infinite Kevin Bacons who could have taken Ego down while doing the dance from Footloose. Also, the man seriously needed to summon himself an iPod. Nobody uses Zunes anymore, Quill. The rest of the Guardians franchise could have just been Quill and the gang using his massive powers to pull the greatest intergalactic pranks ever made. Sure, they'd still occasionally save the galaxy real quick, but they'd now have plenty of time to drive characters like Nova Prime and Aisha crazy. Imagine a world where Peter Quill has the Sovereign go up against the giant Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. That could have happened. Of course, while the franchise could have milked Quill's powers for laughs, it could have also changed the cosmic balance of the entire MCU. The MCU really likes to toe the line between Quill being a serious superhero and Quill basically being the MCU Deadpool. There are some moments where his brilliant strategies lead to Thanos almost getting defeated. Then there are moments where his childish attitude leads the bad guy to win the day and destroy half the galaxy, himself included. To think, that was all one afternoon for Star-Lord. Giving Quill access to powers that would make even Thor look like a lesser god could have made him a super serious cosmic avenger like Captain Marvel. There are a ton of cosmic Marvel heroes that the MCU has yet to touch. There's Quasar, a superhero who has use of the massive power of the quantum bands he accessorizes with. And then there's the Silver Surfer who draws his power from his epic cosmic surfboard while doing the bidding of a devourer of worlds. And then there's Adam Warlock, the gold-faced space-traveling adventurer who is often depicted as the opposite of Thanos. If Peter Quill had kept his alien powers, he could have been a doorway to these kinds of fan-favorite characters. Perhaps they could have even formed the supergroup Infinity Watch to stop Thanos before he death starred Sandar off the screen. Not only that, but this new Quill could have offered up an easy way to introduce the Eternals into the franchise. As it stands, it's going to be a little awkward explaining where these massively powerful heroes were during the last, like, seven alien invasions. Are they not part of the Avengers text chain? A super serious Quill could have also flipped his relationship with the Guardians right on its head. Throughout both movies, Quill has served as the unlikely leader, keeping the wild and rambunctious Guardians out of trouble. Now they'd have to keep Quill grounded in the real world so he doesn't become like his crazy birth father. Can you imagine the dancing scene with Gamora from Guardians 1, except this time it's Gamora who's asking a demigod Peter to dance? Ah, so sweet. While well, it's a lot of fun to speculate about all the possibilities for Cosmic Quill, there's a really good reason why the franchise dropped his powers. It would have really ruined the whole Thanos thing that Marvel was setting up for the better part of a decade. Seriously, what kind of threat is a man with infinite power when we already have a man with infinite power? It was hard enough to justify Thanos as a threat when Captain Marvel was around. They basically had to write her out of 90% of Endgame just so that there would be a plot. The whole franchise was building up to not only the victory and subsequent defeat of Thanos, but also the completions of several character arcs. Tony and Steve's tear-jerking goodbyes really wouldn't have worked in a world where Chris Pratt cleaned up the Thanos problem with 20 minutes using a plethora of weaponized 80s references. Still, it's fun to imagine what that world would have looked like. It basically would have been the same scene from Endgame with Thanos' army. Instead of the massive Avengers team running to meet him, it basically would have just been the pop culture army from Ready Player One. 
Yeah, Thanos, you thought taking on the likes of Iron Man and Thor was hard? Well, get ready for Godzilla, Indiana Jones, and the Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, you want to throw a moon and quill, Thanos? Well, he can counter that with his very own Death Star. You want to turn his laser blast into bubbles? Well, he'll just use those bubbles to supercharge some gremlins and attack. Eventually, Thanos wouldn't so much be defeated as he would just give up, because he couldn't take Quill's endless barrage of nonsense anymore. That's the Doctor Strange strategy of being so endlessly annoying that even a cosmic god would throw in the towel just so you'll shut up. They should really make these movies with massively expensive, jokey alternate endings, just for my amusement. Well, there you have it. All the fun Marvel missed out on by having Quill relinquish his cool celestial powers. What would you have wanted to see him do with them? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to CBR for more goofy Guardians content.